of stewardship. Victory! You are so screwed, mister. And bam! I would so love to, you know, declare war on him. But, um, no. Let's just wait a little bit. Oh, castle infrastructure. Now that's something I like to see. Well, the game is uh, kind of big, yes. The best way is to, uh, I guess, start as like a duke for a larger kingdom like, um, well, Holy Roman Empire, France, England is good, Norway is pretty powerful. Sweden, not so much, but uh, you can um, learn the game pretty quickly just by reading everything and not trying to declare war on everything at the same time. You, my dear friend, gonna get killed. And Plots. Can we kill him soon? Please, maybe. Thank you. Uh, where are you now? You're still over here. Oh, you're pregnant. Sick and pregnant. How wonderful. Pope Valentine accepted the Duke. Duke resists the A will offer to join Catholic Crusade for Jerusalem. Oh, off we go again. You know, nice things. Wife gets pregnant. Time to leave the country. That's the only thing to do. Uh, yes, this is before 1500s. We're at uh, 11.22. The game starts at 10.66 with the invasion of uh, England with um, William the Conqueror coming from the south and whoever the Norwegian king is coming from the north. Yeah, it's sometimes it's easy to become independent and then the big ban hammer comes when they try to retake with a lot of allies. Delay, my co-conspirator co tells me that, that a man is now on the inside of the prison where Earl Merchant sits. He will arrange an escape attempt in which one of the prisoners will sadly suffer a tragic and very fatal accident. <laughs> a daughter has been born to Earl Copros and I guess we have a... No, you only have one. Who should we put this one? I know one who might be interested in being a... Uh... I see a... Where the hell did you go? We had a Greg Draco here earlier. Where 
Where the hell did you go? Oh, thank you. Oh well, a daughter. Who should this be? Well, I know someone who's been active in the chat at least. Meteorod! You will become a princess, or daughter at least. Which I guess is kind of weird. Earl Coffros succeeded with a plot to kill Earl Merchant. Oh, well, <laughs> hello, Mister. Oh, fuck, you're a good fighter. Uh, that's not good. a brother who will reign in your place. That's not good. I want to declare war on you. If I win, I will gain this county, which I want. I want this county. No, she is, or you are not fancying her. But you know, let's kill this guy as well because. Who needs the sim? Oh, good god. 188% plot power. Oh, he's not gonna live long. Greedy and proud versus deceitful, paranoid, zealous, broth, and envious. Yeah, he is now my spy master. And study the technology over in. Success, the snake performed its duty with aplomb and bumped Earl Sindler's full of its deadly venom. Unfortunately, the serpent was caught and the seller has revealed my complicity. Good, but bad. Okay, that's one less. Now. <sighs> Let's kill this little kid as well. How old are you? You are 25. And Linkso is 7. Captain K is 4 and Meteorod is not one year yet. Rivald is no longer spymaster for Arcopros. Okay, fine. That was a short reign. Come on, study technology, go back to Rome. Let's see here. Yes, you have a Captain K as your son. He is the heir, which is, you know, kind of dangerous.
and we got more reinforcements. People are dying left, right and center. Oh, I can see some sibling rivalry here. Oh. Like I care if you... Oh? You can sit there in prison and... Rot. By the way, who are you? My uncle. Well, that's nice, I guess. The church preaches celibacy, and my friends try to lure me into hedonism by showing me the pleasures of life. We can't be, you know, going to celibacy. We want to have fun. Not a dwarf fortress kind of fun, but the real fun. Your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. Uh, organizer, unpredictable leader, unyielding. Organizer sounds good, I guess. Organizer's movement speed plus 20% and retreats plus 10. Desert expert. Ooh. We are good at this thing. Yeah, I can guarantee you if if those three don't get along, they will try and kill each other, which is kind of bad. Oh joy. Captain K, you want to be educated apparently. And you're gonna be the... Uh, The religious kind of us. Can we kill him soon? Ah, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> He's getting raided. Failure. Frightened of the maid with his wailing. But at least he made a clean escape and no one suspects my involvement. We will just have to try again. They failed. Kill a kid. They failed to kill a four year old kid. <laughs> Hello. A lot of wars just broke out in Europe. Holy. Crap. Holy... Holy Roman Empire is on the move. Okay, 
Okay, Link so didn't die, the Guardian did. Phew. I was almost scared there. A waste of money, a waste of time, but oh so good it felt. The pleasures of life make everything feel less tiresome and more delightful. Sweet temptation. Nom nom nom. Let's see if this maid can do it this time. Fate smiles upon me. We're pregnant again. Oh shit. He's dead. Oh, good chess was smothered with a pillow by the maid we had bribed. She wasn't caught, and no one has any reasons to place blame on me. <laughs> oh, we're a countess! Hello! It would be a real shame if you were to die. You're sick. Oh well. It could be worse. Come on, guys. Another sibling, yes, there will be another one of you. Or, possibly, twins. Yeah, we, we, we don't want celibacy. Never. And yay, someone likes me. Hedonist, hedonist. By the way, are you a good fighter? Yes, you are. Can you raise troops? Okay, yes, you can apparently. And quite a lot of them. And why can you almost get more soldiers than me? Another son was born. So, um, yeah, we can have a Mephato too if you want to. If you want to be the little brother of Captain K and, you know, Link So and Meat Rod. Or Meat E Rod, rather. Actually, we shall just name you Mifatu. We don't have Mifatu 2 because that will be added by itself. My co conspirator, Bishop Tout, has sent word that the carriage. Countess Condal is traveling on and will soon suffer an unfortunate accident to leaving no survivors. Good, good, good. Oh, well, that didn't work out. 
Better luck next time. You're going to die. Just so you know. Why aren't you improving your um, stewardship? You're leading troops in Jaffa. That could also be why we're not increasing our skills. Someone needs a guardian. Someone we don't care about. And someone's gotten fever. And it looks like we're actually winning the war. 100% occupation. Minus 17% in battles. Did we dare go over here? Oh, look at this. We might actually win the Holy War. No. You do not fancy her, and she does not fancy you. Just get that out of the system. Yes, you're both fat, but... No. No. How old are you? 61. Looks like you're 161. Hmm. Actually, how old are you? Eight. How old is your sister? Nine. Hmm. Claims. You have a strong claim on me? Oh, you. A little sneaky. Come on, please. Uh, let's see, what do we want to increase? Popular customs. <sighs> Feudal or city vassals. City vassals are good to have. My moon mission tendencies to lash out at people is getting worse. I sleep for little and I can't seem to stop worrying. We're stressed. Oh shit. Stressed is not good to be. An important part of ruling realm is learning how to delegate. This is something you'll finally realize, and your stewardship has improved as a direct consequence. I, I can't really call that a consequence, but fine. <sighs> I re received word from my co-conspirator that the bowmen are in place and wait for the right moment to strike. Conspirator is now in jail. 
and you are someone else. I'm gonna kill off your f whole freaking family. I am so evil. I am so freaking evil. Or rather, Copras is. Temperate and deceitful. And you're ten. Ten year olds are evil back in the Middle Ages. And let her rot. <laughs> yeah, sure. You guys are related. While riding ahead with your personal guard, you suddenly found yourselves isolated on the battlefield and surrounded by enemy soldiers. A violent melee ensured, but you gave a good account of yourself and managed to return to the main body of your army in time to lead to victory. Songs were sung this day, gained 100 prestige. Why didn't you, like, gain a title or something? is one bad motherfucker. And our Chancellor has died. No. Oh. Wow, how bad you are. So descent, please. Renew Jihad. The holy city of Jerusalem, where the Prophet was taken up to heaven, has fallen to infidels. His magnificence, Kalisami, will not let this stand and has declared another era of, of great conquest in, is upon us. Such as was the case in the days of the first caliphs, the Dar al Islam must be defended. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join the ranks of the Muhajidin for the upcoming struggles. This signals a renewed era of Islamic expansion. Oh joy. Jihad for Anatolia. The great Sunni Caliph Sami has declared a call of jihad against the Kafis of the kingdoms of Anatolia. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the depraved Basilius Constantius Fourth of the Byzantine Empire for the glory of Islam. Allah is merciful. Okay, sure, whatever. Not my problem. And yes, thank you very much. Castle of Beit Dejan, the Knights Templar established a new holding in the county of Tyrus. Permission to settle there was granted to them by the noble grandmaster Ashambad of Nice Hospitaller. Their mighty castle will henceforth be known as Beit de Jan. Oh, how lovely. How lovely indeed. Uh, oh, look. People want this kid dead as well. I wonder why. No, 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 not, not Allah Akbar. No, no, no Allah Akbar. Yes, we already know that. Thank you very much. <laughs> 